Ukraine has officially begun operating its first Shark Light aircraft configured for electronic warfare, EW, delivered by the Czechoslovak aerospace firm Shark.Aero. This cutting-edge, two-seat plane has been specifically adapted to counter the growing threat of hostile drones. The update came via French aviation analyst ATECHUET, who spoke with a Shark.Aero representative at the 2025 Paris Air Show. The company revealed it had customized the aircraft to address Ukraine's battlefield needs by integrating a drone detection antenna system directly into the airframe. We developed a specialized EW version of the Shark to meet Ukraine's requirements, the representative said. It's capable of identifying radio frequency signatures from drones like the Shahid and Orlan. Once identified, onboard jamming systems can interfere with their operation. The jamming system features two core technologies. One disrupts satellite navigation systems, GNSS, while the second targets the video feed and control links of hostile drones. The EW hardware is housed in a container attached under the fuselage, precisely aligned with the aircraft's center of gravity. From an altitude of 1,800 meters, the system can effectively jam enemy UAVs within a 4.5-kilometer radius. Although drones like the Shahid also utilize inertial guidance to navigate during GPS blackouts, these systems degrade over time. Prolonged interference from EW aircraft can cause major disruptions to their trajectories, making them far less effective. The Shark aircraft runs on a 100-horsepower Rotax engine with an enhanced generator to power its electronic warfare suite. It boasts a cruising speed of 270 km per hour, a maximum velocity of 300 km per hour, and can fly for nearly 12 hours on a light mission profile. Its range stretches to 2,000 km, offering broad coverage across operational zones. Safety has not been overlooked either. The plane is outfitted with a ballistic parachute recovery system, which can be activated by either of the two crew members. Additionally, the aircraft includes an oxygen supply unit, enabling high-altitude missions up to 5,500 meters, 18,000 feet. During a recent press briefing, Ukrainian Armed Forces Commander-in-Chief Oleksandr Sersky emphasized the growing importance of such aircraft in the fight against drones, particularly the widely used Shahid UAVs. Light aircraft are proving to be a promising solution in our defense against drone threats, he said. We already have several in service, with more on the way thanks to international assistance. These new aircraft come with sophisticated targeting and navigation systems, significantly improving our capabilities. In parallel, Ukraine's defense ministry has launched a pilot initiative to integrate civilian and paramilitary units into the country's anti-drone defense grid. Members of local defense teams and territorial formations will be authorized to detect and engage aerial threats using drones, aircraft, personal weapons, and improvised assets. This combined approach, pairing advanced airborne electronic warfare platforms with ground-based volunteer units, is expected to bolster Ukraine's resilience against ongoing Russian drone strikes.